Occasionally, the sun throws out what's known as a coronal mass ejection. This supercomputer visualization shows a cloud of plasma millions of kilometers wide racing towards the Earth. If these solar particles were free to hit the Earth's surface, they would do serious damage to any living thing, producing fatal mutations in their DNA. Fortunately, the Earth has a defense. An invisible force field called the magnetosphere surrounds our planet, visualized here in unprecedented detail. These images are generated by data from five magnetically tuned satellites. Called Themis, the network of spacecraft reveals the force field as it is constantly bombarded by the sun. The shape of the field is produced by the sheer force of the radiation hitting it, a nebulous teardrop 200,000 miles in diameter. As wave upon wave of solar particles strike the magnetosphere, most are deflected. But when a coronal mass ejection arrives, the charged particles peel open the magnetic field's outer layer. Particles are now free to rush in towards the planet. The Earth's inner magnetic field steers the radiation towards the poles, triggering one of nature's most remarkable sights. The northern and the southern lights. Here, we can see the Earth's second layer of defense. Giant ribbons of plasma stream downwards, encircling both the North and South Poles. As they strike the upper atmosphere at extreme speed, they excite the molecules of air. The process makes the air molecules glow. The oxygen radiates red and green, the nitrogen blue. Energy that would otherwise mutate all life on Earth is dissipated by the upper atmosphere. In this way, the Earth has shielded itself from the sun's deadly radiation for millions of years.